going on y'all? How y'all doing today? So, I got some information. I finally got to talk to all the drivers here at my company. And uh, long story short, we got 12, truck, 12 trucks total. We got a direct contract with um, other people over here. I know it's dark. Let me see if I can fix it. Uh, can't really do nothing about the dark, but I guess y'all can at least hear me. Like I said, we got 12 trucks total, and we got a direct contract. We can't afford to lose anybody whatsoever. Um, dispatchers ran out of ran out of the house. Um, the guy the, on the truck owner, they said they'd been to his house. The guy lived in a mansion somewhere back in uh, Midland. It's like a three-story house. I think they say it's like 10, 12 rooms or some shit. But uh, they got about five people running dispatch out of his house. And... Uh, I think he said it's him, his wife, uh, I think his brother, and something else. They all do it at the house. But um, all of his trucks got uh, the EGR delete, the DEF delete. They all the trucks have been deleted. Um, except mine, unfortunately, I got the I still got the DPF on my shit. It ain't been deleted. I don't know what's up with that. But all they company trucks been deleted. And I talked to one owner operator just a few minutes ago. He uh, went down to Mississippi and put down uh, 5000 on his truck at the dealership. It's a T700 Kenworth. Damn thing run like a, run damn good to me. It looked like a 20, I want to say 2012, 2013. I didn't ask the year, but that's what it looked like. It's one of them Arrow Cab T700s, newer models. Uh, it's got to be like maybe 2013. I don't really know the years on that like that, but um, like I said, he put down 5000 and uh, I'm debating if I want to do it or not. Uh, not that I would want to go down to Mississippi to get a truck. It's just getting a truck ain't really a problem for me no more. I'm damn near approved for anything. It's just other things I'm going through that I really... Uh, I can get a truck, but it's just... See, if I get a truck, I know the truck is going to bring the income. But the problem is, is the truck going to hit my pocket in the way to where it's taking all my savings through breakdowns because I was mapping out the area out here, okay? If I get my own truck, I gotta get my own mechanic, okay? I gotta get my own tire account. I gotta I got basically map out this place. I gotta get my fuel cars for this area, okay? The, the only place that I can get a fuel car from is a pallet where I can, my, I don't qualify for pallet, I actually apply for them, I don't qualify I don't got enough trade lines on DMB um other than pallet man, I don't know other than pallet, it's just mom and pops I mean I think I think it's a TA in, is it Pecos, Texas? I know it started with a P. I know it's a Loves and a Pilot or a Loves and a Flying J. If I don't know if it's a TA, but that's too fucking far to get fuel. You know, I know uh, NASTC, man. That shit, I, I probably get fuel down there for $2 a gallon, maybe even a dollar ninety-nine. When you got NASTC, man, Texas is cheap. But I don't know about this part of Texas. I know Dallas and, and, and Fort Worth and Austin is cheap. But Midland and Odysseus or Pecos, I, I, I never fueled over here, so I don't know what. But I'm pretty sure all of Texas is cheap with NASTC, but uh, where, where would I get tires from? I don't, the only tire place I see in is them, them uh, Latinos that I blew the tire and uh, brought my truck to. But that's used tires. They don't got new tires. Like I said, I don't know what's around here, man. I would have to find me a mechanic, a tire shop. I know I'm going to have to buy tires. I mean, you're going to pop some tires over here. Um, obviously, they're not going to fund you the money. It's none of that. And the reason I know this is because, you know, I, these some of these guys drive for owner operators. And uh, like the guy with the alternator, the company ain't helping you out with the alternator. Uh, the company that tests the driver, they be like, hey, uh, let us know when the guy that owned the truck gets you an alternator. And whenever you're ready, text us and we'll get you a load. You know, it's not like, oh, you, you need an alternator? What, is he not going to get you one? What do you mean you've been sitting for three days? We need to do something about the no, nose. They're they not suiting tight guys. It's, it's okay. Well, you he hired you. It's your motherfucking boss, not us. Uh, fucking, I guess you're going to be sitting there with no air with no alternator. But, um, 
that's the things I would have to figure out. Obviously, I wouldn't, I'm wouldn't. i not going to be able to take the truck back to Tennessee to be get it worked on or some shit. Damn, Brandon, hell, that's just ridiculous. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, if, I, if I'm if i going to spend my good hard-earned money, um, first thing I'm not going to do is give me a truck that's close to $20,000, okay? The reason I'm not going to do it is because I don't feel like running, you know, OTR, all 48 states, running around the motherfucking world for two years, saving up $20,000 to buy another trucker's trash that could possibly, you know, take up more than just $20,000. I, I, don't, I don't feel like circling the world um, for that. You know, if I'm going to circle the world, go all 48 states, I need to take my money to the dealership. Uh, somebody to stand behind their damn product. If it break down, I take it back to their ass. They fits the motherfucker. They ain't got to have no warrant. But some, they going to fix the shit. I bought it from them. It's their problem. It's like, uh, well, I was going to say like LRM, but I don't even, I don't know how they operate, but uh, I'm not looking to lease. Um, another thing is if I do get a truck, Obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to pay cash anyway for the whole thing. Uh, they're going to get a down payment. And if the truck is, uh, if the truck lasts, I would say at least six months, then I would pay the motherfucker off. But um, because I'm not going to pay it in all in cash, obviously, I'm worrying about the interest rate. If I do dealership financing, a lot of, you know, truck drivers get ripped off. They're going to be paying eight to, uh, uh what did a uh, little dog pay? I think this shit is between eight to fourteen from Volvo. They didn't. I guess they didn't negotiate the interest rate down. I would go to my credit union, have them cut me a check for the truck, and they would give me an interest rate of around three percent, three to four percent, four percent max. Okay, I would do it that way. Um, I mean, even just a personal loan, they would do it. Um, I'm just rambling right now, y'all, but uh, I got my paycheck. I know y'all want to see it. Uh, the paycheck I got, that's going to be that particular number. That's going to be the average paycheck that I'll be getting uh, every week as long as I'm out here. Um, unless we lose the contract, which they didn't hear the contract uh, for a long time, a couple of years, so you can forget about losing it. Uh, the only way we're going to lose the contract is if he lose all his drivers, or at least half they drive. We only got twelve. I guess if six people take off, then I guess they won't. We won't have enough drivers to continue with the amount of operations that they need. I guess, but um, we just got two new drivers today. I don't know. I didn't post that video, but I've been training. I train two guys a day. Not in my truck. They just follow me, and I show them the directions to get out here. And uh, how to operate the uh, sandbox. Not operate, but how to open it. They came, they've they been working here, but they came from the pneumatic side. Um, from what I understand, I talked to both of them. Pneumatic pays more. Uh, the guy I just talked to, he said he got his last check. I think he said it was 4300 for uh, two weeks. So 4300 divided by two. Are they trying to tell me to come down there? I'm the niche trucking line. Um, we what what's going on is they're uh, waiting. Who the fuck is this? What's going on is they waiting for um something broke over there. They waiting for a wire line or something they to order from another motherfucking state to get here. We've already been sitting for like four hours. I only got two motherfucking loads today. See, a lot of y'all be asking me, hey, man, how many loads can you average? You can get as many loads as you can, but it's and this is the holdup right here. The, the, the ship ain't the holdup, okay? For example, my first load took me five minutes. I went in there. They took the bots off. I was gone. Second load, I got here. Something went down, you know? So when shit goes, okay, think about it. 
I'm waiting right now because something went down. It's only my second low, and I'm damn near at the end of my clock, right? Uh, 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 two days ago, right? I only got one low. How did I get one low? The dude trailer bottomed out. So it's shit like that happens. It's 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 things that you can't plan for. You can plan, okay? I want to make you know three thousand dollars this week. Yeah, you can do it as long as I guess nobody trailer bottom out. Uh, hopefully, a lightning storm don't come through because they they not running no gas pumps with the lightning storm coming through. Uh, hopefully the forklift don't break, right? It's just you can plan for it. Now what I what I what I, I just talked to these drivers. What I understand is if you want to get the most amount of loads, you need to wake up at three in the morning and run to twelve, and you'll get all you get. You can get five loads minimum easy. That's what they telling me. Okay. Now I already told y'all that because <laughs> I already knew that. But running at that time is 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 is. It's difficult to do, man. In this type of dark, by yourself, I ain't got no weapons. Uh, I ain't got no seeing, though. That's the main thing. I blow a motherfucking tire. It's just, it's, oh, man, it's just all kinds of shit that could go wrong. It's shit. I ain't got no radio, nothing. So, uh, and, and the truck been having some problems. Uh, just like when I was coming up here, man, I went over a hill and the damn gas pump didn't even work no more. Like the truck, the clutch was still pulled. Like, you know how you let the clutch out, the truck still roll. But I put the gas pedal all the way to the floor. It wasn't even like nothing was happening. I was like, what the fuck? I turned the truck off, turned it back on, and still did it. Like the, the truck would pull with the clutch, but I hit the gas pedal where I ain't, ain't going nowhere. And I turned it off again. I did it, started back up, and it, it started working again. So I don't know, I don't know what that was all about. But uh, my cooler gauge then went out. Cooler gauge is out. My transmission gauge is out. I got an AC hose that's leaking. I got an airbag leak. I got some mud flap issues. Uh, a trailer fender broke off. The trailer fenders up here at the front, they need uh, 12 inch bolts. I mean, half inch bolts. Um, I need some headlights. I need some uh, another gallon of oil because I only put a, I only put one gallon. I told you I needed two. Um, I keep the cooling in here. Uh, I see that's why that's another reason I don't try not I try not to uh, promote because it's like, you know, I'm talking about I don't know three thousand drivers, but out of them three thousand drivers, first of all, only one percent of y'all could even survive out here. Let's just say a month, okay? I mean, I, I read the comments, guys. First of all, it's it's a group. Okay, put it like this: it's a section of y'all out right at three thousand that can't even run at night. Okay, do you understand that? That y'all just can't do it. Then it's a section of y'all that can't take a whole truck. Okay. Then it's a section of y'all that um can't drive a manual. And he's trust a 13 speed. Yeah, I don't even know nine, 10 speeds. But which I paid about four thousand dollars to learn how to drive automatic. I paid nothing to learn how to drive a manual, but I digress. Anyways, um, I mean, I know, I know, um, y'all ain't no mechanic. I understand. Uh, but you got to you got to become a mechanic when you come out here. I'm not a mechanic either, but uh, understand if you have to go to the shop, the shop will take care of you now. Yeah, they're, they're, as soon as you get to the shop, they taking care of you. But uh, it's gonna cost you. It's gonna cost you uh, a whole motherfucking day of money. So if you were gonna get five loads that day, that's five hundred dollars gone. Cause you gotta go to the shop get shit fixed. The shop you gotta go all the way back to Midland, Texas. I'm all the way in New Mexico. It's Three hours down, three hours back. Then you gotta get a shop time to fix your shit. So, might as well just say a whole day gone. When the problems you got ain't major. That AC holes over there, that shit ain't major. Uh, what, what else I say? These, the cooling gauge, that shit ain't major. As long as the red light don't come on, I'm good. If the red light come on, okay, I need to turn the air conditioner off, stop the truck, turn it off, wait till the red light come on, wait, let it stop boiling. You know, if you need some coolant, add some coolant. 
and fucking don't ride through the damn desert with the elm for a blast and keep it moving, okay? Uh, shit, if the tire pop in the desert, at least drag, drag the motherfucker back to the back to the main road to the city. You know, if uh, it, the truck got to be real fucked up for me to go to the mechanic. Why y'all think in two years of me driving, I ain't never had a trail issue other than a flat tire? You know why? Because <laughs> fucking, I ain't, I ain't never seen nothing. Wait a minute, I take that back. Besides a tire popping, when I went to Road Runner, you remember that the brakes was uh, cammed up and I didn't know how to... Uh, I didn't know how to do that shit. But um, that was different. Yeah, that was different. So two issues, two years, okay? But then, you know, I watched some of the other YouTubers like uh, Antonio. Uh, I forgot his channel. But um, I think when he was over at Hogan, y'all know how y'all connect the airline and... Uh, you know, if a piece of the rubber seal is missing, air will leak out, okay? I used to watch him complain about that. He he wasn't taking the trailer because the air leaking is broke. He kept taking it back to the back to the shop. And uh, he, I just watched him lose so much money. I never said nothing about it. But uh, truth be told, there's two things he could have did. He could have simply uh, just went into the truck stop, paid like, what is that, like $2.00? to uh, buy that little rubber piece. He could have did that. Or he could have just turned the air hose in the way to where it stops the leak. But to lose the amount of money I watched him lose and then eventually get fired um, for, for basically no issues at all. I mean, it was... I can. I mean, the mechanic had to be pissed because it's like every time he brought the trailer, he's complaining about the airline, and the dude's like, "Why don't you just put the rubber seal on? That's not even the issue." It's, and then you know, I don't know. I don't want to just be talking about him like that. But there's a lot of y'all on YouTube that I, I watch go through these um, breakdowns. It's not really a breakdown. It's it's just simple shit that is y'all just losing money. But um, that type of stuff, I, I, the dude will just fire you, okay? If you, uh, he will just fire you. It's, I don't know. Um, so what are some of the violations these drivers are getting? Um, y'all want the truth or y'all want me to sugarcoat it, okay? I can give y'all both. Um, I don't know, people don't like the truth. Sometimes the truth may hurt. Um, I know the cops and shit be watching, but uh, these are the main violations, okay? They are law book violations. Uh, the drivers, this is what they is use it how they how it happens. They get caught speeding, or either they park in a no parking zone. The cop don't even write them a ticket for speeding or the no parking. Basically, they come up, they ask for your driver license, your law book. They how you go back out sit in the motherfucking SUV with them and go over your log book and use it. They ain't even did a log in like two weeks. And they get like a $78 citation. And uh, that's it. That's that's it, man. Y'all be shut, man. Them damn log book violations out here don't, it don't really mean shit. I mean, yeah, you got all them points on your license, but who gives a fuck? When, when you work for for people like these, no, who gives a fuck? They don't even go off the, they don't even know anything about PSP report out here. It's, it's irrelevant. All it says is, you know, uh, the driver got pulled over. They looked at his law book and he just didn't have the shit filled out. It ain't, it don't mean the guy's a bad driver, anything like that. Like me, okay, I had paper log violations and the company I was out applying to, they, they fucking ran e-logs. So what the fuck? You know, what? I, I don't understand. But um, that's usually what they what, what the violations are out here. They got some more severe violations for like drug possession, but um, even those are minor. But um, other than that, um, I was asking them what they think about paper logs. From what I understand, from what they saying, um, they can't put 
they said they can't put the livestock on paper laws and the oil field on paper laws because for whatever reason it ain't gonna work okay and uh as far as how stable this shit is they said i'm saying they because i'm, I'm referring to the drivers behind me that i talked to according to them uh, because of uh, what, Trump been, what Trump has been talking about about North Korea, um, we got a lot of um, diesel we got to produce in case the military need uh, diesel for like you know jets and tanks and all that shit. So it's kind of rampant. It's kind of like uh, nice and steady. Um, but for this company, they've been steady for years because like I said it's a direct contract a lot of people uh, ask me well, what happens when companies go under well okay like okay fuck you money for example he worked for an uh, owner operator right and if you watch his channel what you'll notice is the brokers call him for a load you get it the brokers yes he talks to brokers now what I was thinking okay if he talked to brokers he would make a killing if he just bought his own truck his own trailer got his own authority the brokers already know who he is he could literally just take a hundred percent of everything but he don't know that and also you gotta think he says not um, what he's trying to do but companies like that when you're dealing with brokers you gotta think well when a broker uh, when a broker ain't got no contracts the whole damn company is gone down Okay, because his company don't have a direct contract. They're just working with brokers, okay? So when the brokers ain't got nothing, the whole company is just gone. It's just like that. But when you got a direct contract, well, huh, you ain't got nothing to worry about, right? I guess um, I'm going to be here for a minute, y'all. I don't have internet connection. But uh, I know y'all want to know what the check is. I'm going to go ahead and upload this tonight. I'm trying to think, man, if I want to charge y'all two nine nine for the paycheck. There's a reason I'm, I don't even want to talk about the two nine nine. Let me tell y'all something about two nine nine for the the uh, I'm petty motherfuckers and all that. How much did I actually earn off the video? Okay, I earned a cup of coffee. Okay, is everybody happy? I know everybody think. I'm motherfucking rich and making all this damn money. I earned a cup of coffee, okay? That's how much I earned off the 299 video. A cup of coffee this morning is what I earned, okay? So, yes, I am greedy for earning a cup of coffee. I know I'm petty. Whatever the case may be, okay? So, only black people. It's not my white friends. This is black people. Black people. They, they, they off in the hood, fucking broken than you could possibly be. And, uh, but you watch my channel, right? That's good. That's good. You watch my channel. And this can be you. You can come out here because they have her. They have her. Now, as long as you watch my channel, uh, see, the thing about putting paycheck videos out for free with the amount of money that I'm showing, it's one thing for me to just tell you, hey, man, you know what? My paycheck is, uh, I don't know, $2,000. See, people ain't going to believe that, you know? Like, for example, I've been telling y'all how much this particular paycheck is supposed to be I put out a video it was like seven what was it uh I left it off for just seven minutes it was quick question I was like hey y'all uh how much do y'all think my paycheck was no damn body could guess it nobody could guess it like um now I'm not saying they was underbidding what my paycheck was I was seeing like 2400 uh 3000 3200 uh 1800 you know, but uh, I told y'all what I was expecting to make. I'm not saying y'all wasn't close, but I'm just saying I didn't say nothing about no three thousand dollars. I don't even know where that came from. Uh, I don't know where that came from. It was a good guess, though. You know, hopefully, I get three thousand dollars next pay period, which this particular pay period gonna end uh, Thursday at midnight. Then I'm, I'm gonna try running as hard as I can because it's the shortest wheel we got. This 33 miles, man. And I'm trying to make, I'm trying to make three thousand dollars and go home. I go home. Uh, I leave out here on Friday, but I'm trying. I ain't scheduled off yet because I'm trying to make the money. Uh, this is is very lucrative right now. 
a lot of these drivers came from uh, Warner uh, running OTR. Like the driver behind me uh, that just came off pneumatic, he, he came from, uh, I think it's uh, the Dollar General account over at Walmart. He used to unload the trailer and do all that shit for 38 cents. And man, they said, man, they'll never go back to that shit. They will, they had that. They say if the oil field ever end, they just cut up their damn CDL, that'd be the end of it. Cause you gotta think, man. Uh the money we getting right now, we ain't we can't make it going to no suit and tie company, okay? Uh, we can make it with other truck drivers, you know. But uh it's not happening with the suit and tie guys. That's why I never kissed ass, man. A lot of people like to kiss ass. I watched one driver for, I don't know, two straight years just kiss ass at the same company, just kissing ass, no direction. Um, it was sad. It was sad. It, it was it was just dirt cheap pay. Uh, now the driver ain't kissing ass no more, I don't believe. At least not the same ass. And when I say kiss ass, I don't mean you getting on your knees and uh, doing an Vince McMahon style to kiss my ass club. <laughs> nah, nah. When I'm talking about kissing ass, I mean, I mean, you done trapped your mind in a way of thinking that the particular job you, you're at is going to stay with you forever, okay? As if... Um, you got the mentality that you're going to make it all the way up to the corporate office and potentially own the company type of mentality instead of um, I'm here to make its amount of money to do something else with this money so that I myself can um, make enough money so other people can classify me as a suit and tie guy because a suit and tie guy, uh, one thing about the suit and tie guys is... Uh, they make way more than us. Uh, of course, they're going to be millionaires. Um, and when I say suit and tie guys, I don't mean somebody in an actual suit and tie. Somebody trying to go around me? Why am I here in the engine? Because I'm first. Oh, he stopped. Like, oh, what the fuck is he doing? Are you waiting on me or something? Bring it home or something. I ain't got no CB. That'd be alright. That'd be alright. Excuse me. I don't think I got no food in here. Got some potato wedges. Ran out of water. I just drunk up that orange juice. And now I'm fucking been sitting here five, six hours. I'm still gonna give me another load. Let me look at these logs. My logs are up to date. I don't have to worry about getting stopped by the police. Only thing you gotta do when it comes to paper logs, um, if the police pull you over, as long as you got your logs up to date to the point to when he pulled you over. When he pulled you over, go on duty. Okay? Go on duty. You need to make sure you got your paper logs got to be signed for every day before that. Just make sure you got your times added up. Make sure you got to do a pre-trip every day. You got to actually write pre-trip with the location. Each duty status change. You need to make sure you put your location there. In our case, uh, each duty status, we just put the same city, the same state, the uh, the shipper, we put the shipper name, and the commodity. What's the commodity? The commodity is saying. There ain't no bill of late numbers, none of that shit. They can't track us, okay? So no matter how fake the log is, if it's fake at all, they, there's nothing they can track, okay? The only, thing, the only way they can track our laws to be true is through the fuel receipt, okay? You understand what I'm saying? So as long as you load the fuel correctly, meaning if you fueled at 1115, go on duty, that's the only way they can catch you, okay? Other than that, uh, 
as long as you got your paper law signed, locations, pre-trip, the only thing they can do is kiss your ass and keep it moving, okay? Unlike e-laws. E-laws is, is I, I don't know anything about, uh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I forgot e-laws. Is that part of a suit and tie? Yeah, when you're on e-laws, uh, have you ever been asked for a fucking e-log at the scale? No, you haven't. <laughs> Why? It's, it's the suit and tie guys. It's, the fuck? I don't mean the scale house is the suit and tie guys. I mean, oh, it's the e-law system. It belongs to the suit and tie guys. Of course the suit and tie guys are legal. What the fuck we need the e-law? The e-law can't... Can they even take that out the truck? They can't even bring the e-law system in here? Oh, you good. You on paper laws? Oh, yeah, you need to bring all that in here right now. Uh, license, registration, fucking trailer registration, uh, paper laws, uh, last eight days or seven days of the paper laws. Oh, go ahead and pull over here in the motherfucking garage, too. We're going to level one, too, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You say you got your own authority. Yeah, we finna be finna end all that today. Yeah. What? You worry for the suit and tie guys? Oh, no. Nah, I'm in the garage. You mean it's gone down the road. And what is that? A 2018 gone down the motherfucking road. E-log? Nah, you good. It's swift? Oh, just keep on moving, man. Let's keep on moving. Not what you overweight? Nah, you can't keep it moving, dude. <laughs> I'm just talking shit. I got a lot of suit and tiger ass that watch my uh, channel. It's just fun to mess with them because they'll message me sometimes. I got people from Quality to watch my channel. I know uh, Penny over at Quality. She's a recruit over at Quality. Uh, I know I was. I know she was trying to call me. I kept doing them damn videos with the truck and uh, goddamn uh, truck in the fucking uh, driveway, so they they always knew their truck was. A lot of people want to know why on earth did I not get my truck taken as soon as I quit. Well, the way quality work is, you can miss up the six payments before they come get your shit. So basically, um, six payments is six weeks, six deferments. Uh, that's why, fuck it. That's why. I, that's why I just let the truck sit. Right? They ain't come to the sixth week, but well, seventh week. That's how that was. That's how that happened. You know. It's just sometimes uh, when y'all don't know the rules, you know they'll call you, and if they'll call you, and if you don't know anything about what you sign, you'll just give them the damn truck back without knowing your opportunities. Me, they charge me. I don't know, six times a week. I was using that bitch for a personal car, work vehicle. I was going out of town with the bitch. I was used as a motherfucking hotel. I used the motherfucking spot. It was motherfucking everything. The six hundred dollars are worth it like a motherfucker to me. I was driving goddamn first class 